Any future that will not require a change from you will not be different from the past. You should be more aligned with Yes, indeed, if there's a man to pray, there's a God to answer. The answers come for you. In the name of Jesus. Now unto him that dwells in eternity. The whole God that dwells between the cherubims. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. Thank you for your presence in this place. Thank you for the outpour of your great spirit. Thank you for your impartations. Thank you for your deposit. Please breathe upon us tonight. Open your scrolls to our heart. Help us to comprehend your truth. Only you can satisfy my soul. Satisfy my soul. presence is tangible in this place some minutes before I I came on one of the photography crew, crew came to me and was showing me pictures that Papa we are capturing angels already his presence is mind you don't need to feel goosebumps you don't need to shake but his presence is in this place. I told us last week, God said to me, restore back the supernatural. That's the introduction of grace and ministry to this land. And at the point I had to suspend it because I feel there was a need for some basic foundation. But God said to me, son, restore it back again. And so in all of our services, we'll begin to have such kind of encounters. Angelic presence supernatural gold dust oil everything we'll begin to have those kind of experiences again so to come hungry stay sensitive and stay alert to the movement of the spirit imagine capturing angel right where you are and you don't even know they are there are we together as i round up the service i'll ask all of you to lift up your cameras and take pictures around and you'll be shocked what you see on your phones. Are we together? Just to show you the atmosphere you are inside. Are we following? Are we together? I want to take this medium to celebrate each and every one of the FYB for being present among the people that could say, God, I am grateful. So, sit among them because it's my joy as a father that I'm sending them for. This is the largest FYB set in the history of Christian ministry. This is the third set of FYB that we are sending for. It's my custom for those that are used to me after sending them forth. That's why I don't joke with a meeting like this. I fast for them for 40 days. You know, the Bible says that we should produce fruits and fruits that may abound. I don't like to see people struggle. So I take the pain to wait on God for each and every one of them, arranging their destiny part. 
praying for them that life be sweet for them. And God has been faithful. This is the third set. We have so many of our people. We have, I have one of my daughters in Germany. About seven of our sons are in China. We have one in Vietnam, I think from Ephesus. God has been faithful. Are we together? God has been what? Faithful. And I'm grateful to God for this wonderful Please celebrate them for me. Celebrate them. You know, one thing I always pray for them is not to struggle for what to do after school. The Bible says there is a danger that delay can cause that even God himself knows. So he said in his word that hope deferred makes the heart sick. Are we together? Hope deferred makes the heart what? Sick. I am praying for each and every one of you. And for those that came to celebrate with them that are also find our brethren, may you not struggle for what to do. I pray and I prophesy that you will not struggle. You will not know what is called delay a second in the name of Jesus Christ. You see, the joy I have is the nature of testimonies I heard from them. The fact that they didn't do church while in school. They just had a nice time, attend uh, meetings and no. But the transformations in their life. Because that's the gift I am giving that they go with. That anywhere they stand, even in my absence, they can still survive. The last statement I always tell the people, which I'll still do tonight, after finishing my prayers and prophesying over them is go and survive are we together if from all you have learned all you have observed about my life by yourself you still fail then something is wrong somewhere so what it means is that you are implicated to fail are we together you have no option but to succeed are we following? We've had most of them for the past two set working right now, doing great things. Some are even married. I think I, I, I couldn't attend a wedding. One married last, um, last two months. Another will be marrying by December. What date is that? 14th, right? 14th. So, you see, I'm your grandfather. Don't mind the white beards. Is that okay? Don't worry. But I feel fulfilled. And I feel happy that in one statement, whether by few or by many, I will present God a kingdom. That's my pain and that's my joy and that's my daily drive. Whether by few or by many, I will carve a kingdom for him on the earth. Are we together? So some of them, immediately after they are done with school, had something to do straight away. Some had a little, little delay of months. But you see, the good thing about it is the things they've heard makes them think differently and reason differently from others. Are we together? Such that sometimes they call me themselves to tell me, Papa, relax. Oh, it's just a question of time. Things will be fine. You see, I'm happy because I am confident that none of them will go and do yahoo yahoo when the issues of life but on them. Sometimes people leave this kind of environment and forget their scriptures when they see real life. You now I told you the blows of life are not for physical fitness. They are to weigh your spirit and check your inner capacity and stamina. So sometimes when life begins to batter you left and right, then the reality of light, life, the truth about the scriptures you know is tested. They begin to come alive. Are we following? So what you want is what keeps you in that season. I pray. I pray for you. That as you go out, there will be a distinction in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, the word in 50 minutes I want to be done. We started a series last week and I taught on the glory above. How many of us are around? And the glory below. And we just came out from a hundred hours of prayers 
finished around um, 10 a.m. this morning. Since Sunday, we've been indoors praying. And um, I, I try to still continue in that light all through the four days we are locked indoors. Teaching on that, teaching on that, teaching on that, teaching on that. Just to make sure we get the perfect revelation of the divine. So because of time, I will just do a scripture. Is that okay by you? But don't worry, we'll still have time. I'm planning on organizing a three days workshop for the FYBs alone. But let's just do a scripture so I can stay to time. Is that okay? Second Peter, quickly. The Kai glory was your topic. There is nothing difficult about that. You know why we we'll have to him is not in a cliche in a sense. Are we following? For instance, when you look at the word love in scripture, it's just one statement in English language. But it differs in the original word translation of the Bible. Are we together? If not, if you don't sometimes do this, you'll be confused. So you see a scripture telling you, for God so love the world. Then you go to 1 John 2.16, it now tells you, is it 2.16 or so? Do not love the world. Then you are confused. Same God that is telling you not to love the world is also loving the world. So understanding the exact words from the original context used for that word love makes you really know what it's talking about. So we have the agape, we have the Philadelphia, we have the, the Philio, we have the, and the rest of them. So when you now understand that this is what it means, because translating it to English language, there is nothing like saying filial love. We just name them as what? Love. The same thing you see a word in scripture, power. Everywhere they use power. Power Acts 1 8. So when the Holy Ghost comes upon you, you shall receive what power. Now the Greek word there is what dunamis, which simply means what inherent. Or let me give you a very understandable point. Domant power. I didn't say dominion. I said what? Dominant. Are we following? Then you go to John 1 verse 12. He said to us men that receive him, gave he power to become. The word power there is the word esousia. You see, it's different now. It means the power of what? Placement. The power of what? Advantage. The power from relationship. I like giving my children this example. When we voted in 2015 and 2019, we didn't vote Aisha Buhari. We voted the husband. But because of placement, advantage, who you are now connected to, she also carries into special office, has a special aid, and receive the same honor just like what the husband do we understand that now then you go to the scripture the bible says the word of god is the power unto what salvation now the word power there kratos it means a might that comes upon you by a revelation when you know something it gives you a density of what empowerment you can see what we're talking about because sometimes people say ah they like to use some kind of why will you say kaye to just say glory i'm making you get the understanding because some of the problem in the body of christ is childishness unnecessary childishness are we together and now too much of immaturity so when we go again to james chapter 5 verse 13 14 he said that effectual and fervent continued heartfelt prayer of the righteous man make it tremendous power what available the word power there is the word is cause it means generated power. How many of you rode a bicycle? You were privileged when you were small to ride a bicycle. Just wave. Give me a wave. Huh? Now, good. When you look at the bicycle, at the back tire, there is what we call a dynamo. Right? Attached to the tire. Which is your dynamis, resident power. That's why even when the Holy Ghost comes upon you, you can't still perform any miracle. You can't still do anything much. Right? So when you pedal, which is East Coast, you are turning the dam. What happens to the bulb? It powers on. That's why I say it makes the power you have, dunamis, available. Uh, do we understand what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So when we talk about Kail glory, Kail glory deals mainly with what? Your natural glory. Because the body of Christ has raised a set of believers that has spiritualized everything. Thank God for the playlist we watch now. I was sharing to someone with some of my children during the prayer how I make money, how I make wealth. There is nothing difficult about that. 
because I understand what the Kail glory that there is a place for God and there is a place for man he won't do everything for me why he made me in his image are we together he made me in his image every organ in my system every part of my body has a function to play if they were not necessary he won't give me are we together if they were not necessary he won't what give me give me second peter 2 1 1 rather from verse 3 and just keep it there i'll run quickly through the scriptures are we together so we must understand that we are tripartites in nature a spirit a soul and what a body are we together if you feed your spirit it grows it develops if you feed your soul you begin to reason well you think where well. your intellectual wit is expanded if you take care of your body you look nice and healthy that's why even at times Mark 6 31 Jesus told the disciples you have to go and rest you've been walking all through the morning take a nap yes. our concentration in the body of Christ is all about the glory the smoke all around that's why only the church is truly seeing the glory of the Lord cover the earth as the waters what cover the sea the glory that even God is expecting to be seen on the earth is even coming from those that have no relationship with him and we receive their brilliance we receive their inventions because they are created is your phone not solving a problem for you who made the phone who brought that to being atheist why do you receive it because that same man though he doesn't know Jesus he's created in what his image that's where the church is missing it you throw your brains away you don't inform your mind I asked a simple question what are you studying architect come the Holy Ghost said the Bible said rather John chapter 14 that when the Holy Ghost come right he will teach you all things you need to know and even the things you forget he will bring them towards remembrance I expect that by your understanding of that scripture you should be in the house and say she got don't architecture be released after all the Bible says in first John 2 20 we have an unction from the Holy Ghost to know all things sit at home sit at home are we together are you getting it clear now that's where the church is missing it so we are not impacting and influencing our world they are not seeing any productivity any inspiration coming from us the first proof see that of the Holy Ghost in a man is for creativity the first appearance of the Holy Ghost in Scripture is for creation the Bible says, and the Holy Ghost brood and create what take place so it's not to be seen all over me it's moving me around sit down one place it should move strange ideas from your brain out it should move strange inspiration out of you that's why Christianity is becoming a mockery for our generation everywhere you go online they say religion is a scam because you are told that you don't need to do anything you just sit down in your place of prayer like this young man said he has touched two of the rivers I have to go and search that truth how many rivers there are you know I don't joke with truth like that I'm a throne room person I need to go find I've been there many times but I didn't count so this time around I will take more careful look at this to be sure that the rivers are as many as he said so at the ones I have meant that too I can put my leg in them are we together beyond the coating of scriptures what else do you know if I ask you to shut your Bible now and say impact this young man in two months let him stay with you what impact will he see from you or receive from you if God comes and say nobody should pray nobody should preach nobody should teach the word or spread anything about the word win over this word for me through what means will you use it's a question I ask you the glory above and the glory below second Peter I want to read from the amplifier can you give me on the screen 
If you have your amplified um, scripture, please let's go there. Second Peter chapter one. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Ebenezer, Ebenezer. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Ebenezer, my Ebenezer. Verse three. Okay. For His divine power has bestowed upon us. All things that are requisite and suited to what? Life and godliness. That means there are things necessary for in life. There are things also necessary for amounting to heights in God. The problem of the Christian folk is that we concentrate on godliness. And so we are cheated in life. You speak so much of tongues but you are struggling to feed. It is life, brother. And what? godliness and the bible tells us that what we do most of the times in the christian faith is to concentrate on the word godliness how do i know first timothy 4 7 he said but rather exercise what godliness so as you engage in spiritual exercise what are you doing you are bringing out what godliness what about life okay let's read on through the full personal knowledge of him who called us by and to his own glory and excellence number four by means of these things he has bestowed on us his precious and exceedingly great promises so that through them you may escape by flight from the moral decay rottenness and corruption that is in the world because of covetousness and become sharers of the divine nature verse 5 is my emphasis now you can write for this very reason for this very reason now i'm teaching how to awaken your kail glory god make you to look like him how do you bring that image into what reality on the earth how do you get to a point you begin to produce result like he does you begin to think like him you begin to act like there are sometimes i pray lord i want to know what to do he tells me use your brain I told us last week when parenting it is of necessity that you parent your child in a way that they can confidently take decisions themselves how will you feel your child of 10 years 20 years is coming to tell you daddy please can i brush my teeth is that not an imbecile why you expect certain things like that he should use what his brain the career clue that's where the word is cheating the body of Christ and so the glory of the Lord is not seen upon the earth like the waters are covering the sea remember Isaiah chapter 11, Revelation 11 verse 15 it's unto the kingdoms of this world become what the kingdom of our God so we want to see believers taking over the technological sin not tongues alone are we following not just spending hours in prayer I do that for believers taking over every system of the world and how will they do that if they take the pain to awaken their career glory he said for this very reason that you have been given everything that pertains to what life and godliness now he's about to tell you how to bring it out of you adding your diligence to this divine word promises work hard there is a place for praying there is the place for getting to work. I work very, very hard. Very hard. Is it your Bible? That you should add to what he just said, what? Because of these things, he has told you that I have kept something. You no wonder second um Corinthians Holy Ghost 4 verse 7 said, But we have this treasure buried in earthen vessel. He's telling you what to do to what? Bring it out. That's why I get angry when some people I do certain things, maybe the way I do my things, and someone says, Papa, ha, Papa, it's because you are graced. You are disgraced. You are disgraced. I work very hard to do something, says because I'm graced. That's how they give back to me. Challenge yourself. As much as we say avoid being in competition or comparison, you have to take challenge. Because I won't compare myself with anybody. I won't compare my friend. Take challenge. It's an imbalanced statement challenge are we together employ every effort 
in exercising your faith to develop what virtue what is virtue excellence excellence top notch quality the way you do your things should change the way you talk should change the way you think should change everything about you should carry what a touch of what excellence he said you should add it to the promise he has released upon you are you still holding your bible what's the first thing you are adding diligence work hard laziness is a is a total anti scriptural attitude god hates laziness with passion including in the following of him hebrews 11 6 he said he that cometh to me without faith it is impossible to please god for he that cometh to me must believe that i am and i am a rewarder of those that what diligently seek me diligently so holy ghost i really wish to pray to a fast but you know how you made me really you push yourself to do it are we together are we following and in exercising virtue develop what intelligence this year i will stop tonight develop what intelligence improve your mind you want to be a financial giant study about finances improves your financial intelligence that's what scripture says it's not just by sowing seed and praying alone i do that but i improve my financial intelligence hear me what the bible says in deuteronomy 8 18 is that he's going to give you the power to what make wealth but you need the wisdom to exploit the power are we together you need the wisdom to what exploit the power improve your mind study a lot some of you read nothing and so your thinking and your reasoning is shallow that's why you must always say you have not heard the voice of god to do anything you can't take sound decision read through the book of proverbs you hear the scripture say my son have discretion he didn't say pray for me that you should know how to discreet have discretion have sound wisdom i, I feel sometimes when i take certain decisions god is at the corner feeling very impressed when I miss it, he says, oh, gotcha, he missed this one. When I get it, I say, oops, I'm happy. You are thinking now. He brought, the Bible says he brought the animals to Adam and asked, them to, asked him to what? Name them. So when Adam said, this one is lion, he laughed. He said, oh, wow, that's good. He saw one. He said, this one is hippopotamus. God laughed. How did you call that kind of name, Adam? He was happy that his creation can continue creation like him can think and reason like he does tell your neighbor you have a brain develop your mind that's what the bible is telling you develop your mind develop your mind attend trainings attend sem seminars school your mind i was telling some of my children just on finances i've read over 2000 financial books over 2,000. I, I told them as far as I can count, I remember till date, I should have read over 9,000 books. Till date. As far as I can recall. That's lower than the normal value. But the least I can call. And some of you, just one book, you have cleaned the name. Because everywhere you go, you hold it. It's not your wallet. Everywhere. You put your money inside everything. One book now hear me what will deceive you is expecting that one supernatural strength will come from above and shake your body and then open the pages of the book in your front and begin to flip them into your mind you will do that yourself that's what actually separates men into categories if you do today what others will not do you will get tomorrow what others will not get inform your mind there are so many, so many things in the scripture. Go back and read them through. I want to stop the service now. Inform your mind. Read a lot. Some of you know nothing. How will you say you are entering the relationship? You have not read anything about relationship. 
if you need just to be an architect spend how many years in school five years and you want to enter into something that is eternal eternity and you don't know anything about it something's wrong with you you're joking you're joking so, you know we spiritualize everything i was telling them how one of my daughter met me one time and said papa i want to write a book and i said what's the book what's the title of the book i'm very i'm very impressed at least you give back to your kind say the book is on um how to manage relationship i said you have a boyfriend say no i said don't worry relax when you have one you start writing because they just feel that they, there's one thing that the Holy Ghost does with your mind then you start writing on something you have not experienced something you know nothing about are we together awaken what your glory I've told you the protocol of the spirit is that you take steps yourself why he walketh in us both to will and to do where God comes to play is when you are missing it and when you are getting it wrong take steps take steps sound decisions don't lock yourself in the place of prayer and keep praying when you are done get out and go do something with your life the bible says, Paul planted Apollo water it the job of God is to give increase understand Christianity this is why people are mocking us are we together mocking us say you should bring Rabina and mix with olive oil every morning just be anointing yourself that's how people will locate you what rubbish is that Rabina is the blood the olive oil is the anointing what's your problem why are you behaving like something is wrong that's why we have so many people duping people everywhere duping people how will a pastor come and tell you to take the toll that is trying to perform and you drank are you a goat with your level of education you know what is called the tall you see how we are feeling as Christians right you see on a group chat 20,000 we give you 40,000 in 35 minutes even if you pay your tithes your windows will not open that car fast and you carried your money if something is not wrong with you you don't think you see the kind of believers we raised why papa prophesied in the last service may a miracle you cannot understand happen to you and so when i made the prophecy i told you to suspend your brain i told you that you should suspend your brain i shared the story last two years the last day one of my son he just rushed to the office I said, Papa, please, he needs an extra. Is it 50,000? Be 5,000? I don't know. I said, For what? He said, God has done it. Because I prophesied a service before. That can you imagine? A man just called him and said, David, I just felt like helping you. He said, Who are you? Ah, is that your brother? He doesn't know anybody from Adam. You see how we suspend the brain? He said, I just want to help you. And there's this job opening in NSCDC. We are changing people. So I just decided that I should change your story and slot your name. Yeah, but you know, I need social amount to move your file very fast. You sent money without your document. There is no problem. And after like five to ten minutes, he sent you a code and said, This is not your job code. This is your rank. So we need another social amount to print your your you know ID card and the rest of them. And he was running to my office to share testimony. When I look at him like this. No, wait. Let's assume I prophesy that a miracle you can't explain happened. The easiest miracle could be somebody you least expect recommended you there. It could be as worse as you didn't even submit application yet they call you. But say before they give you job, they ask for your result and start to, to document it. How are they giving you job code and title without any documentation from you? You suspended your brain. Suspended your brain. We don't think it's not. See, there are some things you see people are saying, I want to pray to know whether it is God. Something's wrong with you. I feel sometimes God is even angry looking at some of us because we are not behaving like Him. We are not thinking. Tell your neighbor, resurrect your Kail glory. He gave you that body. Think like Him, act like Him, reason like Him, inform your mind. And He told you that you should develop it. Are we following? He said, develop what? Intelligence. Develop it. Develop it. He won't do it for you. Develop it. Rise up to your feet. 
all have shared some things to us. But maybe during the workshop, I'm going to share that with the FIB. 40 things life has taught me thus far. But I can't do that today. I can't because of the exam period. So maybe next week, when we have our workshop on an agreed date, where I know it's just me and the FIB, I I'll share that to us. Certain deep things I've learned in life that can help you to cheat the current situation on the earth right but in a nutshell reexorate your career glory your natural glory reexorate it you are a trap at that pain please understand that you don't bait you don't eat well I abused my body to a point I paid dearly for it I paid dearly I fasted my life out there was a year some of my children were here I fasted I finished 90 days stretch in less than one week I went on 60 stretch I was looking for a God that was surprised at me till I found myself on a surgery bed life gushing out of me spilling out blood and I was crying oh God I was looking and panting after you and he replied do, do, yeah. use your brain even me said to everything there is a time and a season a time to fast and a time to eat are we together the first thing god gave man in genesis is what food it's everything you see in this garden just a chop they go but you see this one where they the center may not church it means sometimes you not fast so your life will be fast you understand but after you are done with the fasting don't feel offended eat are we together the kail glory I'm seeing people frustrated. I came to a service and I prophesied for you. May money come for you. And I, you saw posts of scholarships and you did not apply. Is something not wrong with you? I, you see the problem in Christianity. Something is wrong with you. Even to the date I still put applications for things. Put them. And I trust that God's favor in the midst of many picks me out. And he always does. But you just sat down doing nothing. Nobody tells you there is a way God operates. You can't understand. You better start understanding. Because it might be too late for you. Are we together? I came to challenge you that you bring balance into your life and bring balance into your walk with God. Bring balance. I was sharing with some of my children today. How some of the things I apply for they could be so stressful, so stressful. Have you filled a, filled a form of over at something pages? Some of you want to apply for scholarship, apply for business grants, and you just started page one. They didn't tire you. You just say, the Lord will do it. Something's wrong with you. How will you do it? If you are God, will you help yourself? Add diligence diligence be willing to what work hard that's the problem of the body of christ we spiritualize everything everything not knowing our place to play in the equation spiritualize everything are we together spiritualize imagine a situation we had some time ago a young man saying he needs to hear the voice of the holy ghost to know when to resume school have you not seen stupid things Somebody say he needs to hear the voice of the Holy Ghost to know that he should go for his exams. Is something wrong with you? Who raised you like that? Who raised you? What kind of reasoning is that? And when they finish saying such statement, they speak some few tongues. Sifo kata. Sifo kata. Tongues that look like insult. What's that? Huh? You, you see the problem? Spiritualize everything forgetting that he gave you brain to think and to reason properly to reason properly he gave you hands to walk feet to go places ears to hear information he gave you a mind that you should culture and cultivate romans 12 to renew your mind he asked you to do something about the way you begin to think he said i've done something with your spirit but what happens with your mind is your sole responsibility i, I keep telling my people Preaching is not an impactation. He gives me the revelation, but I do the presentation. Are we together? 
The Bible says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth will speak. I have read a lot inside that the Holy Ghost can pick from. Some of you know nothing. And you're just confusing people. Preaching rubbish here and there. What is inside of you that the Holy Ghost can pick from? Even the Bible says, study to show yourself approved by others. Know that there is a density you eat in study that God approves of you. And say, you are qualified to teach my word. To be approved unto God. To show to God that yes, I am able to now dissect truths and divide the word of God into pieces that others can chew from. Study. He didn't say you just leave the Holy Ghost. Mm, you don't move upon you. Please balance your life. There is the glory above the cabot glory. And there is the glory below the Kayir. We will begin to see believers speak with speak with wisdom, bring forth solution and answers. Think aright, think straight. Are we together? Think straight. That's why I've trained my children. There's a problem, my grand. Ask yourself, what is the way out? You went to school. You're educated. You've informed your mind. What's the way out? Well, we need like 40 days to go and wait. On what? You know when I say these things, I'm not despising the place of prayer. Because your whole prayer life combined. You know, I won't put it close to mine. But teaching you that beyond that part, there is some things we do. There's something we do. I trust God. I've prayed for miracle alert here. Don't you see them? But that's just a sign. That's not the way money comes. Money comes while you put your value into the scene. That's why I don't do that in every meeting. Just, it, it's just for you to prove a point. I prayed there. You wrote an exam where your Bible never finished. Have I continued? I bring your Bible to service. I will dip it into the, into the oil I use in my secret place. When you don't, you just go and sleep. When you put it, it will write itself. And you see people at this age rushing with their Bibles. If something is not wrong with you, something is not wrong with you. There is a place where God decides to supernaturally impose in the affairs of men. And most of the times it's for a sign and a wonder. It is not doctrine. The doctrine is study to show yourself approved. Please let's wake up and stop bringing a shame and reproach to the body of Christ. Everybody is just beginning to mock, him, mock the church. Say church people. Nothing. You don't have sense. They, they pray so much but they are the poorest. The Bible calls the Holy Ghost an advantage. Don't abuse that. Don't abuse that. Lift up your hands and just wave to him and say something wonderful to him. Please wake up. Wake up. Wake up, people of God. Challenge yourself. Challenge yourself. The ending of that scripture, 8, 9, 10, it says when you do this, you will be productive. You will make your calling sure. People will not mock you. I say, this God you are for, what is, where is this showing in your life? Because we fail to take step. Where is necessary for us? Fail to take step. Thank you, our Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Lord, I ask that you awaken their minds. Illumine their minds. Flood their minds with light. Flood them with light. Flood them. Boost their reasoning. Boost their thinking. Flood them with light. Flood them with light. See, hear me. I think I have seen the worst abuse of Christianity in my days. So a few years ago, 2014, was when I left this campus. And I needed to go and serve. I know I had brain, so I knew what I wanted for my life. Are we together? And I knew certain environment and condition that can make that grow very well. A fish will never pray to us, Oh Lord, 
Where do you think I can stay to survive well? It knows its natural configuration. So God bless me with a contact. I called my, my a, a, a very close family friend. He works with the NYC. I said, please post me to Kadna State. I want to serve there. And one of the brethren in the fellowship, very spiritual brother, so spiritual that even he's spiritual than God. Because some of you can teach God. Say, let me explain to you the Bible. He started talking here, talking there, talking there, how I have fell from the faith. And that he's praying for God's will. Sometimes we are stupid. Sincerely. We're stupid. The Bible says he sent a man ahead of them called Joseph. To what? Preserve them. God gives. Imagine when Jesus was dead, right? And his body was in Pilate's um, um, custody, custody. Imagine when Joseph of Arimathea said, I want to go and bring Jesus' body. And Peter says, Should now feketes, ketem fetes. Don't worry. If it's the Lord's will, the body will appear from. Please wake up. Because we're abusing Christianity. And so he said, God's we we just interpreting Bible left because you've gotten too spiritual that God cannot even use you. And they posted it to a place in Ibadan. A very terrible place. I, I believe that's where Odudu has started from. No network, no water, no electricity. Nothing. How can you grow your life in that kind of condition? After like one month, I spoke to him. Bros, Alpha. He said, my brother, I don't relocate to I said, why are you spoiling the wheel? You can't alter the will of God. Stay there. And so many stupid things like that are going on in the Christian faith. Because you have, you have gotten so spiritual that you forgot that you were created in His image. Are we together? And I knew what I wanted. If I didn't stay in the environment I stayed, I wouldn't be here today. I knew the groomings I wanted. I knew the kind of accesses I wanted to certain kind of information. I won't stay in a place where even messages I can't listen to. I can't charge my phone. Even the lights to see the Bible to read will not be available. What kind of grooming is that? Please, don't cheat yourself in life and think you are serving God. Some of the things you do are false piety. What did I call it? False piety. They hold no weight before him. Look at your neighbor. Tell that person you are created in his image. That Muslim, that pagan you see, was created in what? In the image of God. That's why if they use their brain, they can come up with innovations too. They can come up with creative ideas too. And you, you are locked up in the secret place looking for the third river to climb. Continue. Lord, I pray for your people that you will inspire their mind. You will awaken their mind to reality in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your hands come mightily upon them in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, our Father. And under God, I call it done. In Jesus' name, I pray.